Two, you one. gotta go like this. Okay. Ready? Three, two. I got way too much. There's no such thing. Hello everyone, Ivan here, and today I'm here with the one, the only, Solo Maridueña. How are you doing, man? I'm doing well, thank you so much for having me. Awesome, so I brought some treats okay. today. Okay, I'm excited. Um, I brought chapulines. I'm trying to get my protein up, so I'm Okay, glad that I've heard these are like pretty high in protein. Yeah, it's only, it's, I'm pretty sure it's it, only It's all protein. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you tried chapulines before? I have, yes. I think these okay. are the, you were saying that these are the standard kind of These are flavor. like non-flavored, non but I have chapulines. two other okay. seasonings. I have tried these. Okay. I'm yeah, it's a little, it's All right, it's well, it's, it's my first time, so oh, okay. I wanted to wait until I was with you to oh, actually try them. All right, so, all right. so maybe we'll, it'll turn around. I'll be right, the we'll one, like, leaving. Right, <laughs> right, right, let's do it. All right. You gotta grab a couple. You, you, can't, you, do, you can't do one. Oh, you use... Because one isn't enough. One is like, you it, you accidentally ate it. You gotta get more than one. At least two All right, three. I got three over here. All right, I got four. Oh, I got three and a half. Okay, you ready? I'm ready, let's go. Oh, these don't, these actually aren't as crispy as the ones. These are not crispy, yum. It's got kind of I like felt a like citrusy. a little leg coming out of my mouth. What do you think? What was the flavor profile? Honestly, it has flavor. Yeah. Which this one, for a non-flavored chapulín, it has when some I flavor. had them before, they felt more crispy fried yeah. and a little more salty. This had like a tang to it almost. Yeah. I was excited because when we heard Blue Beetle was coming out, and I was like, I'm gonna talk to Sholo. I was thinking, let's eat bugs. Of course. Of course. Of course. Why not? Sholo's but, a foodie, and Blue Beetle, <laughs> we gotta eat. Makes sense. But I want to also start talking, obviously, about the film. So Blue Beetle is the first Latino superhero kind of headlining a, a film uh, of this scale. Yeah. Did you feel some sort of responsibility when you got offered this role, or were you pretty chill about it? Uh, <laughs> definitely not chill. Okay. Chill is not the word I would use to describe. Um, but you know, with Blue Beetle and really everything that, that I've had the opportunity to do, I do feel a sense of responsibility okay. to, to not only uphold my experiences, you know, uh, to, to a degree of authenticity, but also to make sure that, like, I'm representing my community and my people yeah. positively, and, and not even just positively, but but accurately, as best accurate as I can. That's awesome, and I feel like just from watching the trailer, you could actually see how, yes, it has a lot of action, and yes, it's like an origin story that I love, but it has like depth and, and, and kind yeah. of like humor, but also that family aspect and stuff like that. I think a lot of that happened at the beginning with Garrett Donald Alcocer, our writer, and Angel. Our family, the dynamic, really is reminiscent of Garrett's family, the writer. He drew inspiration from his family, and I think all of us, George, myself, Elisa, the whole members of the, the Reyes family, pulled from our own experiences. Yes. I, like I, I was saying, growing up, I never thought to myself, like, I have a Latino childhood. It yeah, was, yeah, it yeah. Was just It was just our childhood. I, it's funny that you mentioned something because you said I just had a childhood and then after we grew up, we're like, oh yeah, it was a very Latino childhood. Yeah. But we were just growing up. But now thinking back, what was something very Latino that your family did? Not I, knocking on the door maybe? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> my my family never allowed me to lock my door. So that's Oh, great. yeah. I don't even think I had a lock on the door. <laughs> I think they were just like, yep, that's, uh, that's your room. Now I'm going to bring okay. the Beatles. Round two. I'm, I'm kidding. Whoa. We right. just got Chapulines, but I'm going to Bring okay, it's another two. flavor. Okay, it's another flavor. Well, can we try to guess? Wait, wait, I don't want. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna look. Don't okay, worry. Is, this one's gonna be a little hard to guess because honestly, I don't know exactly what kind of flavor it is. But <laughs> okay, okay, we'll, okay, we'll okay. see what we get hints of. Okay, we'll see okay. what we get hints of. Okay, let me grab three because that's okay. I guess the rule. Oh, wait, yeah, the body is the best. Three, two, one. Look. These are crunchier, these are crunchier, less of a flavor, right? I don't, I couldn't tell you. Oh, just they were seasoned. seasoned. I was never gonna get that. Oh, aren't you feeling that? It kind of tastes like, like the aftertaste. It tastes like those salt and pepper sunflower seeds that you put in your mouth. I know you filmed a lot in Puerto Rico, and as a Puerto Rican myself, I love oh, no that. Okay. Yeah, because I know that Puerto Ricans are very proud, and and yeah. they just love kind of like welcoming people. And yep. I had a chance to briefly talk with Angel, and he mentioned something that was very interesting that. Once they knew that Angel was directing it and it was a very Latino cast, they really like opened up and they were like, come on, this is your space. So I how mean, was your experience filming over there? Getting to film with Angel, who's also Puerto Rican, right? And we got to film in Puerto Rico, in his neighborhood, it, like in Santurce where he grew yes. up, like getting to, you know, film, but also just hang out with him and, and see where he grew up and get to travel around. And, and I think it really helped ground the project in, in nice. reality. And like, this is 
we're filming here and this is the life that's actually going around, like going on mm -hmm. uh, around and, and it was so pleasant. Everyone was so welcoming. I bet it was like a party. All yeah, work, but also what? fun, right? Yo, that's the other thing, but that's for another <laughs> episode. That's, that's for part two. So before we run out of time, I want to okay. bring the third, third one. one. This one I'm going to have you guess because okay. I feel like we'll be able to get some hints okay. of something, hopefully. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Three, two, one, let's go. Cheers. Wait. These are kind of tricking me. Because <laughs> you know what the flavor is. Oh, yeah. Citrus. Some... You're, you're getting there. Yeah, it's definitely a citrus. What I... kind of citrus? It's easy. Limon. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Come on. The Sali only limon. citrus. Okay, yeah. There you go. <laughs> this the first one actually is my favorite, and then this one, and then season. I'm going to say this one, the first one, and then season. Okay. Awesome. Well, Joe, it was a pleasure eating bugs with thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, that, that was amazing. Thank you I so think much. I can check that off the list, right? Everyone over at Pero Like, thank you so much for tuning in, catching us, eat some uh, chapulines. You can catch Blue Beetles in theaters August 18th. Cheers. Right, three, two, you one. You got to go like this. Okay. Ready? Three, two. I got way too much. There's no such thing. <laughs>